G'day Internet, my name is Joe and I run Encounter Terrain and I am going to show you a very easy craft today. We're going to make little bonfire pits. There are quite a few different methods on how to make these on the internet. I have scoured the internet and no one does it this way and I believe that this is the easiest way. If you have found an easier way, please send me through a link, I'd love to see it, but we're going to make these out of this. It doesn't take very long, it's pretty easy. Let's get straight into it. What we are going to need to make these little tea light candle bonfire pits are basic materials. We're going to need a tea light candle of sorts. This one is a self-flickering one, so it flickers by itself. I can't really see it too much on this, but uh, it does. Some hot glue sticks, a hot glue gun, and some stones. These stones I have just collected from the park. A cheap paintbrush. I've just got this one here from like here. We are also going to need, I've got some dark brown paint, dark brown, some dark grey paint and some light grey. That's about it. Uh, you can also have a yellow on hand if you want, but this is the way that we're going to do it. Step one is going to be taking out the rocks that you are going to use. Now I want to get things that are roughly, roughly about this sort of size, roughly about the size of a pea little bit bigger than a pea, some a little bit smaller, you want to get some nice shapes. If you don't eat your veggies and you don't know how big a pea is, start eating peas. Peas are delicious. And then uh, base your rock selection off your newly discovered love of peas. So this is what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take out a bunch and all the rest can go off to the side. What's going to be next is we're just literally going to glue them straight onto this. Just going to glue them around the side, it is as simple as that. Once your hot glue gun is heated up, I'm going to do it in small sections first. I'm literally just going to uh, put a little bead of glue along the bottom. Always start at the bottom, it makes life easy. Start at the bottom. Small little line because you don't want it to, uh, you don't want the glue to set before you've stuck your bits on. And then just take them and stick them on. great thing with hot glue is if you stick them on too low you need to move them up a bit you've got a little bit of time to move them up but also you can just rip it off and start again so here we go let's keep going now make sure that you always wash your rocks first because if you're getting your rocks just from outside then they are going to be covered in a little bit of dust that you can't see and that's going to make them fall off when you're sticking them on because basically you're going to be sticking the dust to the tea light candle and then the rock is going to fall off. Yeah, I don't like that rock, that one's too spiky. Stick that on there, stick that in there and if you get to the end here like this and your rock like this one doesn't quite touch both of them it doesn't really make too much difference. It's going to just look like part of the rock anyway. So when you're at that stage there, all you have to do now is just put it down flat on the table, just to make sure that it still stands. There's our little first row of, well, the first row of stones. Now I'm basically just going to carry on around the top. At this stage where we're starting to get a nice little ring of rocks going around the whole the whole outside there now if you want you can carry on with another little ring around the top here which is what i am going to do but if you don't want to you can leave it at that stage by now okay there we are now you should be left with something that looks like this With a bit of luck, you haven't glued up your circuit and your light still works. You can see it flickering away there nicely. One other piece of equipment that I've got, just a little bit of sand. There we are. Now I'm basically going to take this sand and I'm going to take my super glue. Some people use white glue, I like super glue because it's instant and I'm impatient. So I'm just going to take my super glue 
and give it a good coverage in on top here. Yeah, way more than we actually need. Take the sand, sprinkle it on top. Now sand actually acts as a super glue activator, so this is pretty instant. Take that there, pour it off. Whatever's left, and that gives us a nice little bed. Now you can buy different various modeling sands and all that sort of stuff. I've just been to the building merchants and I bought a 20 kilo bag of builder's sharp sand, which cost, I think, four pounds, four or five pounds. And I have now got enough modeling sand to last me at least the next 30 years. Now you should be at this stage. Excellent. Now let's see if that still works. Good stuff. Now we're almost there. Now if you want to leave it like that, you can leave it like that essentially. That there is perfectly acceptable as far as the tabletop is concerned. But if you want to take a one extra step, I'm going to prime it now in dark grey. I know that because it says so right there. Dark grey. I've mixed up this dark grey myself because I don't want to buy a whole bunch of different paints, so I just buy a whole bunch of different tubs, and I've got a big pot of black and a big pot of white, and I just mix them together in different ratios until I get the colours that I want. So I'm just going to start straight away. Let's use this big brush. I'm going to use this brush. It's substantially too big for what I need, but uh, that's what I've currently got on hand. And I'm just going to paint the whole thing black or dark grey. And at the moment here, we can busy insert a uh, heavy metal time lapse. So now that that has been painted and it is dry, that's what you're going to be left with. Something that looks somewhat like that. Now what we're going to do is just dry brush almost everything in a light grey. If you don't know what a dry brush is, um, there are millions of painting tutorials out there that show you how to dry brush and what it is. The easiest explanation that I can give you in one second is put paint on your brush, wipe the majority of the paint off so that your brush is somewhat dry, and then just drag it over the top, just like that. And you'll see, let's see, it'll start to just pick out all the details like that. And you can do this fairly heavy all over. If you don't get everywhere and some parts are left black, that's fine. They look like shadows, they look like just variations in the rock. If you need a little bit more paint on your brush, instead of going back to the paint pot, you can just basically rub it on the cloth or on the piece of paper that you that you were using to take all the paint off and then just around the inside of the top here there we go so now your little tea light candle will be looking like this and like that from on top so it's starting to look like our other one I only put two rows of stones around this one, I've put three around this one. You can put as many or as few as you want, depending on the size of the rocks that you use. Now, this one... Now, what you can see on here is this little plastic flame part here. Let me just turn it on to see if you can see it better. This little plastic flame on top, this is just the flame that came as part of the tea candle. I have pulled it off this one here. But you can leave it on, you can pull it off, up to you, whichever you want. So let's turn this fella off. Now, on this one, what you can see is I've got a little bit of a yellow yellow ridge around the outside there. That's just to uh, emulate a little bit of burning light. Now, that was done with this, this uh, Lamenta's Yellow from Citadel. But if you don't have that, which I think they've stopped making it, I'm not sure. I'm basically going to do it now just with this yellow artist's acrylic garbage paint. I'm not even going to wash the brush off. I want it to blend in a little bit, so uh, I'm going to give this one a really light dry brush. 
just around the insides of the top here. Just like that. And that's it. If you want to use some different yellows, different oranges, up to you. Your work, do what you want. If you like the way that I'm doing it, copy me. If you don't like the way that I'm doing it, copy someone else. If you want to make up your own way and do it, do that. If you do make up your own way and do it, send me a link so I can see what you're doing. That's almost essentially it. Now, what you can do from here is I've obviously just chopped up some matchsticks, painted them brown and stuck them on top as some little logs. You can do that if you want. You don't have to. But that's essentially where you're at. Now, I've got a few little logs that I had pre-made here. These ones are just out of some kebab skewers. You know, these can basically just be you know, stuck on, you can stick them on however you want, you can hot glue them on, you can white glue them on, you can tacky glue them on, you can super glue them on, any way you want. You can have them standing up in a circle, paint them green. So that's how I make fire braziers. There are lots of different ways out there on how to make them. This is just the simplest way that I've found, gluing rocks onto tea light candles. Good to go. So uh, I want to see your ones. Go make them. Add me on Instagram, tag me, I want to see them, send me a message. Enjoy.